What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to Jakarta Vacation Travel Guide by Expedia. Okay, so I feel like we're hitting Jakarta quite a bit. And I'm sure our viewers feel the same way. Yeah. So if you live in a different place in Indonesia, let us know. And give us some video ideas because I feel like we're... It's kind of like when we first started out with Malaysia. Yeah, we hit Kuala Lumpur like back to back to back so give us some other ideas tell us where you're from and then give us a, a video that could show us other parts of the country yeah most definitely and the way to do that is down in the description below there's a link to our discord click on that join our discord and there's an area where you can actually suggest videos to us we'd love to have you in there aside from suggesting videos we can just chat and have a good time below this video as well there's a join link if you guys would like to join our youtube membership program We'd love to have you in there. You'd get early access to videos like this, as well as exclusive behind the scenes of vlog content. So if that's something you'd be interested in, we'd love to have you in there. Facts. You ready to hop in? Yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this. Alrighty. I'm excited to see this one because this is, you know, a, a professional, I guess, yeah. worldwide company. Expedia.com. on the northwest coast of Java, the most populous island in the world. This sprawling metropolis is the Republic's political and economic engine room. Most populated and island in the world. And one thing I noticed when they zoomed in is how sprawled out it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you have this idea when they're doing this, like, walk-by, drive-by thing. You're like, oh, or even the, the drone footage. You're mm -hmm. like, man, it's huge. But when they come in like that and you see this thing is completely spread out, and it looks like there's like, it's covered from left to right. Oh yeah, for sure. So, and it's kind of cool. You see the downtown and everything. Yeah. To over 10 million people. You can tell that's super color graded. Yeah. Like to make it look really like red. But the it's, red it's is insanely though. popping. Yeah. The sheer size and frenetic pace of Jakarta can sometimes make it feel like a city unraveling at the seams. But it's those yeah. 10 million all the red residents is over popping. who hold yeah. it all together. Long after the traffic jams are forgotten, it's the warmth, pride, You can even and see the skin the tones. Yeah. Are remembered. Expedia, call me. I'll get that taken Despite care of for you. Despite its rather gritty reputation, this is a city that often charms its way into the hearts of travelers. To get to so the beautiful. heart of Jakarta, and indeed the... So what was that again? Uh, is that the big roundabout? No, that was a monument. Uh, a Did they just say monument. it? Uh -huh. Okay, I was like, I totally missed it. I was so focused on the color grading. And I did want to mention one thing that I found out. So here we have, on we use Snapchat a lot. And we also watch the news. And I came to found, find out the person that's like in charge of student, uh, she's a student as well at Yale University. And she's in charge of something uh, for students. She's like one of the smartest students at the school, basically. Really? She's a... A uh, medical, a uh, um, what's it called? Uh, she's wanting to be a doctor, uh, pre med uh -huh. at Yale, and I and she was Muslim. I was so proud of that. I was like, "You go, girl." I, I don't know what if that has anything to do with it. <laughs> I just saw a whole bunch of Muslims. I know that's the uh, the majority in their country as well as Malaysia, right? And I feel like I've learned so much about Islam and the, the Muslim people and everything. Mm -hmm. And I feel pride in that. Yeah, most you definitely. Know? I'm not ignorant as much. I'm still ignorant, but not as much. Yeah. But I do not remember what that was called. They have, we have... We've been told already. I just can't But remember. let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments. The entire nation head to Medeka Square. Once a humble buffalo field. This one kilometer square park tells the story of a nation. Look at from that. From its earliest kingdoms wow. to its throwing. That's awesome. That dude's really tall. These kind of look like, uh, what, what was it? It was uh, Harry Potter, the teacher when he took off his headband. Mm -hmm. And the sorcerer's stone, that's the back of his head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Throwing off the yoke of Dutch colonial rule. 
From the square center rises the towering national monument, Monas, whose flame of independence shines its reassuring and unifying light across the entire archipelago. So no need to tell us in the comments anymore. We, yeah, we figured we, it we out. Know. <laughs> but we know that we're going to get a lot of, of them. Some of the capital's most elegant and important buildings, such as the National Gallery. That's cool. On the square's mm -hmm. western side is the National Museum of Indonesia, whose majestic courtyard and stately rooms display national treasures from across the ages. That's beautiful. I'd love to visit that. Yeah, no, I love museums like this. To the northeast rises the gleaming minaret of Istiklal Mosque, the nation's main house of worship, and the largest mosque in Southeast Asia. That's huge. That's gigantic. I mean, and like, obviously that's like silver, but it kind of comes off as glass. It does. It, it shines. Now, I do have one question. So as Christians, we have pastors. And they give a, they, they For preach. Preachers, yeah. Yeah. Preachers, pastors, ministers. There's, you know, a bunch of different words for the same meaning. Do y'all have something like that, that will go through the Quran and try to relay a story from the Quran and how you can use it in your everyday life and try to be a better person? Let me know down in the comments. I'm curious about or that. Or is it kind of just passed down from generation to generation? Your parents kind of you. teach you those yeah. things. Um, because we kind of do that. We have like Bible stories that I read my children, but I don't, I don't have the ability like a pastor because those guys are oh, they went to school educated to yeah. do that. Um, and then they tell you how to, how you can take this story that happened in the Bible and relay it into your personal life and how you can right. live that way without it being like, you know, thou shall not kill. Well, obviously. That's like really yeah. obvious. So I'm just curious about that. Yeah, definitely. During Ramadan, over 100,000 worshippers gather at a time in this modernist masterpiece. Wow. Lovingly yeah. constructed from Javanese marble and stainless steel. Religious marble and stainless steel. Is one of the central guiding principles of the Indonesian Republic. As a symbolic gesture of harmony, the mosque was built directly opposite the magnificent twin spires of Jakarta Cathedral. That's super cool. Yeah. Holy cow. Look at the intricacy. But it's not just around Madeka Square that you'll discover the spirit and riches of this city. In the heart of Jakarta's <laughs> old town lies Fatahila Square home to Jakarta's best heritage architecture and some of its finest museums. That just looks like such an awesome Housed place to go. City, yeah. The Jakarta Historical Museum provides a fascinating glimpse into the city's colonial... And I know I've said this a million times before about Malaysia and how it's very much reminds me of Mexican culture. Mm-hmm. This is a lot like it. Like, it's very different, but it has a lot of the similarities, like the cannons and those kind of things. Yeah. Like, if you go down to San Antonio and visit uh, the, uh, I just went blank. What's Alamo? The, the Alamo, yes, where the Mexicans were fighting the, basically, the U.S. Um, at the time. This was a long time ago. It was barely anything for that matter. Um, but a lot of those cannons that design how they had it all set up those type of buildings it's very very mexican style yeah so i appreciate it <laughs> past. for over 300 years the city was called batavia the capital of the dutch east indies i thought they were going to say potato as the yeah. jewel of Asia, <laughs> potato. this was the epicenter of the dutch trading empire also facing the square, the Wayang Museum celebrates the incredible puppets of Java and beyond. While the Museum of Fine Arts and Ceramics showcases the paintings of Indonesian masters, as well as ceramics from all over Asia. See, I love those things. Yeah. After you've explored the museums around Fatahila Square, 
Everybody just looks like they're having Cafe so much Batavia. fun. Just relax. Once the offices of the Dutch East India Company, for the last three decades, this 200-year-old building has been serving up the coolest old world charm in Jakarta. Times haven't changed much in Sunda Kalapa either, which is just a short walk north of the old town. Take a boat ride around this ancient port and see traditional Mokasa schooners unloading and resupplying for inter-island voyages, just as they have. Those boats look so old. Yeah, they do. But, but they so but they're they still look kicking. Yeah, they look. That's the thing about boats. As long as you maintain the issues, take care of the issues when they arise. Right. A boat will take good care of you. Yeah. Have for over eight centuries. However, I will say I've heard it. I've never owned a boat, not even a tiny little John boat or aluminum or whatever you want to call it. But I've always been told the best two days of owning a boat. It's when you buy it and when you sell it. Yep. <laughs> wow, that one looked like it was going under. Yeah. When it's time to take a break from the nonstop bustle of Jakarta, embark on a nautical adventure of your own from That'd nearby cool Anchor uh, and explore the Pulau on. Seribu Dude, National look at that. Park. Just a 30 minute ride from Jakarta lies Pula. Like you could go camping in that boat. Hell yeah. That's a camping boat. And you fished the whole night? Yeah. I'm down. A tiny resort island famed for its tranquility. That's Look at the uh, cruise ship. That looked like a. Carnival. Carnival. It did. It had the colors. On nearby Pulau on Rust. Once a site for Dutch shipyards, the fortifications still stand, despite the British bombardments and tidal That's waves awesome. which rocked the island in the 1800s. Man, it's so cool to see stuff like that. That's just withstand, withstood the like everything. test of time. Yeah, yeah. Now, I I'm curious. Do they do y'all allow camping on the beach? Like when I, so when I was in high school, every, so we have a thing called spring break. I don't know if y'all have it, um, but we went down to Port A or Port Ranzas down in uh, South Texas and we were high schoolers, seniors, and we couldn't afford to get a, a hotel. Right. So we just pitched camp on the beach. We made like a campfire and all that kind of stuff. And it was awesome. I mean, it was during spring break, so it was like literally party 24-7. And you got in trouble. I never got in trouble. Oh, they allowed it? Oh, yeah, no. It, oh, because a lot of places don't allow it. Oh, yeah, no, they allow it, especially during spring break. Because really? the hotels are packed. Packed, yeah. So, like, it's done. Yeah, a lot of people don't allow you to, to stay the night on the beaches, yeah, which we, I don't understand why. We uh, They allow you to drive on the beach. They allow you to, which I don't like. I wasn't a huge fan of. Yeah. Because it really compacts the the sand in certain areas. Obviously, like the closer you get to the water, you're not allowed to drive. Right. But further up. But it's like makes it really hard and it's, I got really wimpy feet. <laughs> it got so hot. The harder the sand is, it's like glass. Yeah. It absorbs all that heat. Look at that sunset. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I want to camp and wake up to that and go to bed to that. Yeah. And 34 provinces to sample them oh, all. Whoa. Wow. That's dope. That is insane. Okay. There's a lot to unpack here. First of all, yes, please. This is beautiful. This is insane. Yeah. That's is gorgeous. this man made? It has to be. It's too perfect. Yeah. I mean, in my world, I believe God can make some pretty amazing, beautiful things, but this is insane. Yeah. Now, what is this? Yeah, that that's cool. I didn't even see that. Yeah, and then what is this? And then what is... I thought that was KFC <laughs> for a second. Yeah, it's CFC or maybe, something. Maybe... Uh, oh, uh, no, I was thinking of the Texas... Fried uh, like Church's yeah. chicken. Yeah, that's the not, yeah. Texas chicken, but I guess that's not that. Let us know what this is. Let us know if this is man made or natural. And then what are these? Yeah. Let us know what that building Man, is. it's beautiful. Yeah. All in a single day, head to Daman Mini, a theme park that brings the entire archipelago to Jakarta. 
from the temple. Oh, that's a remake of the, the world's largest uh, um, Hindu temple. Oh, that's no. what it looked like. Here, go back. Just hit play. Archipelago. To Stop Jaka. right there. Where was it that that's actually located? I think it's in Indonesia. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this, I, I believe. This was like the largest that we Hindu saw the video temple. Of. Yeah. Yeah. I could be wrong. And I'm more than likely wrong. But I I, I do know that's a smaller scale of, of something, something <laughs> of a temple of some sort that's Yeah, let real. us know what that is in the comments. Yeah. Gotcha. It's awesome From either way. The temples yeah. of Bali to the bull races of Madura. The ethnic, cultural, and architectural diversity of the island republic is waiting to be discovered. Jakarta is a gateway to Indonesia, through which many rush. But it's a gateway that so offers gorgeous. much Mercedes to go and linger. From modern malls to roadside stalls. From markets where you can snack oh, for a few mm -hmm. rupiah. To Sold. restaurants where you can dine like a sultan. <laughs> she just got accented. That's real. cool. Sultan. It's like, uh, to restaurants where you can dine like a sultan. It's like you sit on a couch. Yeah. At a restaurant and eat. <laughs> It's going to be messy as can be with me. Yeah. You see what the couch looks like yeah. after I eat. They have to throw away their couch. That looks like Disney World. And it does. Appreciate <laughs> the value of a smile. Visiting Jakarta can be challenging at times, but this is a city where light dances from the most unexpected places and moments. That's beautiful. Wow. As the Japanese say, "Urup iku urup." To be alive is to be a flame. So come and share the light and smiles of Jakarta. Oh, that's cool at night. Yeah. Thank you, Expedia. This was actually a Thank really you. well done video outside of color grading. Yeah, 100%. You're probably going to copyright us on it, but... I mean, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I thought enjoyed it was, watching it. This is probably one of the better Put Indonesian together. videos yeah. as far as like getting well, they to see had stuff. the budget to, yeah. to do it. Yeah. Uh, but that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, if you guys have, again, because we do continue to do Jakarta just because that's, that's the most populated and that's where everybody wants to see, you know, but we want to know about some of these other cities or states that, that aren't shown as much you know something that we can learn about that's different from jakarta even though jakarta is beautiful we want to venture out and see all these different places absolutely uh yeah what he said i got <laughs> nothing to add really to that so with that being said my name's miles and my name is fez thanks for watching guys peace out